Kayla Grace, and it's Monday here on My Damn Channel Live, and we have 10 sweet, wonderful, memorable minutes together. Uh, first and foremost, have you subscribed to My Damn Channel yet? Why not? Because it makes me sad when you don't subscribe. It makes my heart hurt more than it already hurts sometimes because I haven't been working out. I should do that more, get my heart rate back up. Anyway, let's start off today's show with my favorite comment from last Monday's show. Let's take a look at the one that I chose. Da 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 It's from Fizzy Saney 90 which sounds like a version of bath salts. Uh, and it says, Grace, I'm missing the Queen's Jubilee concert to watch Mind and Channel Live instead. I may be risking having my British citizenship taken away from me for my lack of respect for the monarchy, but it's worth the risk. You bet it's worth the risk. Suck it, Queen. No, sorry. That's, I, my grandmother's from England. I just offended a whole side of the family that I don't know very well. So I'm glad that you put your priorities in uh, an order and that I take precedence over the Queen. My mom would be really happy about that, I think, on some level. Also, what is the Jubilee? It just celebrates the Queen? It seemed like it went on for a really long time, and it was a lot of people in the streets just taking pictures of the Queen. But I can't, I can't fault it, because we celebrate Cinco de Mayo, and we just drink margaritas all day and consider it a, a holiday. We got a lot of weird stuff going on here. Valentine's Day? What's that nonsense? Easter? A giant rabbit comes in and puts chicken eggs in your house for kids to find? This nonsense. Total nonsense. Anyway, guys, as you know, I'm here in Los Angeles, California. I'm not in New York because I'm here shooting episodes of my music with the Fine Brothers. And so the live show is pared down a little bit. I'm just going to touch this area. Have you guys ever seen Louis C.K. when he does stand-up? Sometimes he just touches places on the wall to find grounding and footing. So I'm just going to do that really quick. It works. This feels nice. Do you like my dress? I dressed up for you guys today. Look at this. This is from a designer named Knitted Dove. And I showed you on the, if you watch my vlog today, I showed you all the dresses she got for me for my music to play Idol. And I'm wearing one today. Ooh, this dress is great for a live streaming show or a funeral or some sort of like mall event. You know, sometimes they have events in the mall you go to, you get dressed up for. Was that just a South Jersey thing? Maybe. Let's look at some of your tweets from today, guys. I asked you to tweet at me uh, with the hashtag MyDamnChannelLive, and now I'm gonna respond to them and uh, answer some of your questions. Okay, I'm using my iPad. Whoa, the future is right now, in the present. This is from, the first one is from Katie Reed. And you spell your last name with three E's, which three's company, cool. Um, it says, who is your favorite Spice Girl? Oh man, okay. We were just talking about this on set the other day about the Spice Girls and how when you think back on them, none of them can really sing and none of them can really dance. So it's just like a group of party girls <laughs> running around making noises like zigga zigga ah, which influenced me as a child. In fifth grade, me and a bunch of my friends lip sang uh, If You Want to Be My Lover as our final music class presentation. How that was an assignment for a music class, I'll never know, but we passed somehow. But I think my favorite Spice Girl is Sporty Spice because uh, she's kind of super white trash. <laughs> she just wears sports bras and Adidas pants around all day. <laughs> and then she'll just get up on a table and do a backflip out of nowhere. White trash, just stand on a dinner table and do a backflip. Love it, love it. She wears super high ponytails and just like struts around, not really dancing, just like looking like she's gonna punch someone in the face. I love it, I love it. She looks like every girl I went to high school with, which is really bringing back a lot of memories. Next tweet. This is from Paul Dionisi. Dionisi. Dionice. That's a fun last name, I think. Uh, Grace, what sounds do giraffes make? Okay, this is kind of um, interesting because me as a human, I feel like I can relate a lot to a giraffe. I think sometimes I feel like a human giraffe. I have long legs, a short torso, and a long neck. Um, and I like to eat plants a lot. So this is the noise I think giraffes make. <clears throat> Did you like that? That's the noise that giraffes make. Have you ever been to Toys R Us? It's how Jeffrey says it all the time. 
<laughs> okay, that cracked me up. Just picturing Jurassic making that noise. Next tweet. It's from Ingham Sarah <sighs> with three H's at the end. I love using more than one of the same letter. Okay, what was your all-time favorite part about high school? Oh, goodness gracious. What was my favorite part about high school? High school was kind of, um, it was fine. My favorite part about high school. My favorite part about high school. My favorite part about high school. Oh, uh, okay, my favorite part about high school was uh, what I would eat for lunch every day. I would eat, and I thought it was great, I would eat um, an M&M cookie and a bag of Funyuns for lunch every single day. <laughs> We had this thing in our cafeteria called the Snack Shack that you could go to and it sold just like chips and candy and ice cream and all this stuff. And my mom would give me lunch money every day. And I wouldn't buy regular lunch. I would go and buy every single day a soft M&M cookie and a bag of Funyuns. Like, hashtag USA. That is the worst diet of all time. And then I played sports after school. When you're young, you're invincible. You're a thousand percent invincible. Also, Funyuns are delicious and awful. I haven't had those in years. What, they're, they're fake onion rings as chips. What? Who conceptualized this product? Let's take onion rings, a food that's horrible for you, and make it worse for you and give it to kids. And it was great. Every single day, M&M cookie and Funyuns. So... I'm a role model for health, basically. Um, next treat is from Bethany Jane. And then um, a line. That's a cool Twitter name. You have an underscore at the end of your name. <gasps> Ooh, a sneak attack. Okay. What's your favorite non-alcoholic drink? This will be a hard question for you. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Everyone thinks I'm an alcoholic. That's fine. Um, no, I, I enjoy the occasional adult beverage from time to time. But my favorite non-alcoholic drink. Oh, this is how I think when I think. Um, oh, so I just got out here. I drink um, soy milk with my coffee a lot. I drink vanilla soy milk. I'm just going to work out my arms really quickly while I'm doing this. Uh, and I went to Target and bought soy milk because you can do that now. Target just doesn't sell accessories and clothing and hair things and stuff for your house. It sells food. So I bought soy milk from Target and then they had very vanilla soy milk. Not just vanilla soy milk, very vanilla soy milk. Like vanilla wasn't enough. We need more vanilla in this soy milk. And it's so good. It's like liquid candy. It's clear, this is the girl that ate an M&M cookie every day for lunch now starts her day off with very vanilla soy milk, which is just like melted vanilla ice cream in a carton, and I pour it into my coffee. And it's delicious. Picture of health. The picture of health. You like my dress? Knitted dove. Are you subscribed yet? Subscribe. Okay, next tweet is from rawins418. Rawins418. I don't know what rawins is. It sounds like a snack food that old people buy. Ever run into someone from high school who's seen your videos? How did that go? Uh, have I run into someone? Blah, 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 blah. Have I run into someone from high school who's seen my videos? I haven't run in physically. I don't run a lot in my normal life, but I haven't run into anyone. But I've gotten messages over Facebook from people saying they've seen my videos or they've seen something, and it's always pretty cool. It usually goes like this. Oh, I have a message in my Facebook inbox. Click. Oh, that's nice. Click. That's usually the experience that happens. <laughs> Internally, there's more going on, but that's the outward experience of what's happening when someone uh, says that, which is very, very nice. It's, it's cool. It's cool that the internet can reach people that uh, I used to sit in a cafeteria with and eat M&M cookies and Funyuns every day. Okay. Next tweet is from Gemzer D. Okay. That cool name. Uh... <laughs> How do I tell my friends I hate them? Okay, you seem fun, first of all. Uh, you seem like you're probably a great friend. Um, so, if you hate your friends, that usually means that they're probably not your friends. So, I don't know what it is that you might hate about them, but I don't think you need to tell them that you hate them. That seems like 
the wrong thing to do in a situation. So I think if you hate your friends, one, maybe it's not your friends, Gamzer D. Maybe it's you. Oh God, this got too real, too real, too real. Um, I should be charging you for this therapy session. So I think you need to stop hanging out with them, get in your car, go to a store, buy yourself some Funyuns, bring it back to your house, go on Tumblr, take a picture of yourself with the Funyuns, filter it, put it up on Tumblr, say, I don't need nobody, hashtag fun, Yins, and then call it a day. Because really, at the end of the day, who needs friends when you have Funyuns? Right? <laughs> Guys, this went so fast again. Oh, maybe we have time for one more tweet. Oh, we do have time for one more tweet. Woo! 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 Just wanted, to see the, wanted you to see the back of the dress. It's got buttons. What? world is this? That's crazy. Uh, it just makes it more complicated to wear. Knit a dove. Subscribe to mydumbchannel.com. I mean, YouTube so You know. You know it. You're not dumb. Uh, or maybe you are. In which case, I'm giving you too much credit. Who knows? What a world. This is from SamGW94. I would like to hear about your prom. That is my question. Okay. Prom is not a huge thing for me, but here's a funny story about prom. I went to the mall. Yep the mall to get my hair and makeup done for prom for prom and i got my hair done at a jc penny's salon because jc penny's had a hair salon in the store yeah can you believe it it's like buying soy milk out of target it's crazy then i went across from macy or from jc penny to macy's to get my makeup done at the makeup counter there and i'd never done that before and I thought I was so adult and I was so mature and I was being such a feminine woman. And then I sat down and the girl who did my makeup had clown face makeup on her face, like sexy clown. And I realized halfway through it that this was not a good idea to get my makeup done by this woman. And she was like, do you like silver? And I was like, yeah. And then <laughs> I got my makeup done and I looked at it. I, she put silver eyeshadow all over the top of my eyes and some underneath of my eyes. It was so, it was like, you know how when you have your car it gets hot and you put that silver thing on your windshield to deflect the sun? I had like two of those sitting across my eyelids the whole time. It's to the point that I cried. I broke down, had a girl moment. I was like, I'm so ugly. Why did she do this to me? And in hindsight, I looked back. I look like the most stereotypical version of a Jersey girl I could have ever imagined. And I went home and I took all my makeup off and I redid it and then I went to prom. What a story, guys. Uh, the moral of the story is go buy Funyuns for yourself. That's it for this episode of Mightem Channel Live. Thank you so much for joining me. You can check me out every other day of the week at mightemchannel.com slash dailygrace. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you know when the live show is happening. YouTube.com slash mightemchannel. Go now. Why wait? wait it's, 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 ah, you get it. I'll see you guys uh, next Monday. Until then, hi, Beth. Bye. Ding. Oh, I hit a TV. <laughs>